well-organized business, a detailed and functional budget is pretty much the main key. Regular tracking of income and expense makes it easier since you can just add them and get the net balance in the end. Let's try creating one. Hello there, this is Farihat Tulmim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates and VB related answers. Today our discussion will be how to create a business budget in Excel. We will create a business budget like this using Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. Here you can see that we have added a title in our worksheet typing creating business budget using cell B2 to K2. Now we will create our income section. For that, first let's merge B4 to B8 from the home tab under the alignment group and merge in center. Let's type income. Now in cell C4, let's type source, then actual value, budget value, and difference. Now in cell C8, type total, where we will get all our total values. Let's format the titles. Let's select all of them using control key and let's go along with this fill color. Let's increase their font size and make them center middle line. Now let's select B4 to F8 and from the home tab under font group border drop down select all borders. Now let's select the titles again and the total row and make them bold. Now in cell C5 to E7 we will add the sources of income and the actual value from the sources and the budgeted value that we considered for income and we will calculate the difference here. Now we have this data in a draft sheet so we will just copy it from there and finally paste it in C5 using Ctrl V. You can manually type it as well. Now we will calculate the difference between this column. So let's add a formula equals actual or D5 minus budgeted value or E5. So our difference is $1000. Let's drag our fill handle tool till cell F7. So now we can see that this difference is a negative, which means our actual value is less than our budgeted value. Now for total, let's add all of them using some function and select D5 to D7. Enter. Now let's use fill handle to drag the formula till F8. Now we can see that total budgeted income, total actual income and total difference are added here. Now we want to calculate our expense section. For that, click on B10 to B13 and select Merge in Center from the alignment group and let's type expense. Format it in the same way. Fill color from font group, make it all borders, bold, increase font and make it center middle aligned. Now we can manually type all this and format it again or we can just copy the format here. Select C5 to F8, use Ctrl C to copy and paste it in C10 using Ctrl V. There we are. Now these values are for income so let's remove them using delete key. Now on the cells or C10 to E12, we will add our draft record. Now we can copy it from a draft record and paste it in cell C10. You can manually type it as well. Now we can see our expense values are based on advertisement, dues on loans and rent. And we can see the difference is actual minus budgeted as well since we have copied the formula from income section. And the total values are as follows as well. If we click on formula bar we can see that these values are added here. Now for additional info we will add our funds amount. Let's 
select B15 to B16 and from the alignment group choose margin center. Let's type fonts. Now let's font group to fill all borders, bold, increase font size and make it center and middle align. Now let's copy cell C12 to cell F13 using control C and paste it in cell C15 using control V. Now let's remove C15 to E15 using the delete key from our keyboard and add our emergency fund value. Since we have the value as draft record, we will just paste it here. Now we can see that our emergency fund is budgeted as $30,000 and the actual amount is $25,000. We are not going to be adding this in our net balance section. Now let's get down to the main part of our business budget which is net balance. Now select H4 and go along with selecting H4 to H5 from the alignment group merge and center and type net balance. Let's format it or we can just click on funds and from the home tab under clipboard group click on format painter and now click on here. So it's formatted right. Now let's click on D4 to F5 use control C and paste it in I4 so that we won't be needing to format the cells again. Now select I5 to K5 and click on delete to remove previous data. For our net balance section we need to calculate the actual value we can get the actual net balance from subtracting the total expense from the actual section from income total. So let's type a formula which is equals D8 or actual income minus actual expense. Now for budget the formula will be same so we can just use fill handle to drag till budget. Now our difference will be the same as well so let's just drag the fill handle tool till K5 and we can see that our actual net balance is 49,450 and our budgeted net balance is $50,100 and difference is $650. Now we can see the entire budget for our business in this worksheet. Easy right? Using this elaborate steps you can also create a business budget in Excel as well. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.